Characteristics of an Ideal Bureaucracy Max Weber's Perspective In this video, we explore Max Weber's theory of an ideal bureaucracy and its key characteristics. Weber was interested in studying the organizational structure and identified five main features of an ideal bureaucracy. Division of labor, hierarchy of organization, written rules and regulations, impersonality, and employment based on technical skills. Join us as we delve into each characteristic and its implications within an organizational context. Division of labor. According to Weber, an ideal bureaucracy requires a clear division of labor. Each employee within the organization should have specific tasks and responsibilities. For example, in a university, teachers focus on teaching while administrators handle maintenance and procurement. This division allows employees to specialize in their respective fields, enhancing their expertise, efficiency, and overall productivity. However, critics, such as Karl Marx, argue that division of labor can lead to feelings of alienation and reduce productivity as it separates employees from a holistic understanding of the organization's processes. Hierarchy of Organization An ideal bureaucracy has a hierarchical structure resembling a pyramid. Employees occupy different levels, with each level under the authority of a higher position. This hierarchy clarifies decision-making authority and the chain of command within the organization. However, it may result in lower-level employees feeling excluded from decision-making processes, potentially leading to a sense of deprivation. Written Rules and Regulations In an ideal bureaucracy, employees adhere to written rules and regulations that outline their job responsibilities. This provides clarity, uniformity, and continuity within the organization. However, an excessive number of rules and regulations may result in goal displacement, where employees become preoccupied with following procedures rather than focusing on their primary objectives. Impersonality Weber's concept of impersonality implies that employees should conduct their activities in an unbiased manner. It ensures equal treatment of individuals within the organization, irrespective of personal biases or preferences. Impersonality promotes fairness and reduces discrimination based on factors such as caste, creed, gender, and religion. Employment based on technical qualifications. Weber advocated hiring employees based on their qualifications and skills. Job candidates should be selected based on their suitability for the specific job responsibilities. This approach decreases discrimination and ensures that the most qualified individuals are chosen. It promotes meritocracy and helps eliminate biases related to caste, creed, gender, and religion. Max Weber's theory of an ideal bureaucracy provides valuable insights into the characteristics that can enhance organizational efficiency and effectiveness. By examining the principles of division of labor, hierarchy of organization, written rules and regulations, impersonality, and employment based on technical qualifications, we gain a deeper understanding of the structures and dynamics that shape ideal bureaucratic systems. This video has explored each characteristic, shedding light on their implications within organizations and highlighting potential challenges or critiques associated with them. Characteristics 